Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be working on the 80cc go-kart again. I only have a few things to finish up before we can actually take this thing on its first ride and test it out. So I got to hook up the brake pedal, I got to hook up a clutch pedal, and then we got to get the new brake disc and brake caliper hooked up and on the axle and everything like that welded in place. So let's just jump right into it with the montage. Yo! One. So we got the brake rotor installed on the axle. Now we have to put on this mechanical caliper. Uh, I'm not really sure how we're gonna install this thing. So I'm just gonna fig try to figure it out, see if I can get it working. I also ordered it with a cable. So I am gonna be able to run a cable most of the way up to the pedal. So hopefully that makes it easier, but this has no spring or anything. So I don't know how it's supposed to return. Like I understand how it locks, but I guess I'm gonna need some type of spring to make it return. This is going to get installed something like this. I guess that's locked. That's open, that's locked. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of flat stock and I'm going to weld this like that so I can mount the caliper with this piece of bar here. And then maybe uh, reinforce it. So I got this brake caliper mounted. We got a support here and a support there. Those are just tack welded in for now. We got to do a lot more welding on those, but I just want to make sure this works before I go weld everything totally solid. Okay, so I got the new brake disc on the axle. I got the caliper welded up. Um, I have this support coming down here and that support coming over there. This cable pulls, locks that up. So I think I'm gonna have to attach a spring to this arm. That way you push the pedal, it locks, but then it pulls itself open. So that's gonna need some type of spring. I got the cable running up here like this. And then I have it attached to the frame here. So this is the cable. This brake pedal is gonna get mounted something like that. And uh, I'm just gonna need like a little something to attach this to the pedal. So I gotta cut this piece here off here, and then I gotta move it over there, just like uh, I did for the gas pedal right there. So, and then the clutch is gonna go over here on this side. So I just cut this little round tube off the go-kart frame. This is what the uh, pedal slides into. And uh, you can see I have relocated the gas pedal one, and the brake is gonna go somewhere over here. Okay guys, I got this clutch pedal welded on here. I got this off of uh, the parts go-kart. And the brake is on. So I just have to attach this brake to that cable. And then figure out how to attach this to the clutch cable. And we should be ready to roll after that. The only other thing I want to do also is get like a fuel shutoff for this gas line. So I'm just going to get like an inline fuel valve shutoff thing, like a little petcock thing for that. And I also want to hook up the kill switch, so I believe this is the wire for it. And we're going to run that kill switch wire right up here where the old one was. So hopefully that will work. I'm going to have to test that out. 
So I just whipped up like a little rod here that I'm going to try to use for the clutch pedal. This side's going to go on the pedal side. Then on the other side I welded this washer. I'm just going to try to use this to attach the cable. It seems like it's going to work pretty good. It does have a tendency to want to go back kind of. So I think maybe I'll put some type of pedal stop on there. Stop the pedal from going further back than that. So this is the piece of bar that's left over that I cut that other bar off of. I'm going to use this for the brake pedal. I'm going to cut it right here, weld a bolt on, and uh, use this to attach the brake cable. So I've been messing with the brakes for a while, tried a bunch of different configurations uh, before I found something that I was happy with. This thing here that I made uh, did not work, so I ended up coming up with something completely different I'm going to show you guys right now. So what I ended up doing was just hooking the cable directly to the brake pedal. This is still not tight, but and then I was clamping the cable there cable runs back like this. This is the end that I had up at the pedal originally, but now this end comes over here. I welded on a bolt to this rod here. And this originally was like the cable mount that I had made right here to hold the cable, but now I just kind of have that rod going through there and then it comes up here. And this rod that I found off the other go-kart, I had this laying around. And then I attached a spring to this lever and welded a bolt on there, so it's kind of hard to push with your hand. You see if I press the pedal. Now that works the way it's supposed to. And I'm pretty happy with that. So guys, the way the go-kart sits right now, it's basically ready to start and take its first ride. Um, I only have a few things left to do. I have to put the keyways in the back two tires and um, a few cotter pins, things like that. Maybe a few lock nuts or uh, Loctite on some bolts. Pretty much though, it's ready to go. So the next video you see is going to be the first ride on this go-kart. I'm not sure when that's going to happen because it's still getting dark really early and I think we're supposed to get snow this weekend and maybe the weekend after so I want to get I want to get at least one other person over here to test it with me so we can have like a fun little uh, first ride experience so that's the next go-kart video you're gonna see in the first video where I crashed this thing I promised you guys I was gonna make it sketchier and I think mission is accomplished because I'm definitely kind of scared to ride this thing hopefully nothing breaks on the first ride but hey mission accomplished it's sketchy Later.